Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to set up Laravel Mix with Shopify theme. This is going to be something new and no one else has done it before, but I will do it. So why I am using Laravel Mix? What is this and how it is going to work? As I said in the previous video, a slate tool. A slate tool, do, a slate tool was doing the same thing. They were compiling down all your script in the local directory and then they were uploading to the server. So what I am going to do is since I am using Vue.js, like Vue I need a compiler. Vue.js works out like works out of the box if you do not use any compiler for that. But some of the syntax in ES6 will not be supported in the browser, so you have to use Vival to compile your ES6 code to vanilla JavaScript. So I need a compiler for that. I can use Laravel Mix, which is cool. Also, I am going to write SAS file like SAS uh, for CSS, and while you know Shopify does handle it out of the box. I'm not happy about that because Shopify compiler for SAS is out of the box and it is not supporting most of the like some of the feature in SAS. So that is the reason I can set up my own compiler here. So I will use Laravel Mix for that. It is not for only for Laravel and you can use it for a standalone project and that is what we are going to do. First of all, these are the commands you have to run. I assume you install npm, so this will make a directory as an app and then it will change the directory to the my app, then you can initialize it. So I will come to my app here in the directory, it is going to be easy. I will open the terminal here and in the terminal you can run your code here. So again I will copy this code here, what this is going to do is, this is going to initial an npm file for you, it will create a package.json as the empty if you pass the flag of y it will be an empty package.json here it is you have your package.json and now you can run the next command to install laravel mix and i will run it and oops so what you can do is you can just come here i couldn't paste it now i will paste the code which i couldn't copy it from here i will come again copy it the code and it will install Laravel Mix for me. It will take a few seconds to install. After installing, you can use the CP, which is going to copy the webpack.mix from the node module folder and it will copy it in the home directory for you. What this is going to do is, or you can create it manually, like the way I do. I don't have to copy everything. This is how you can create it manually. Just create a file called webpack.mix.js. I'll copy the name coming to this directory just create a file as a webpack.mix now you have to all you have to do is just put this for uh, text here which is going to import Laravel mix first and then it is going to look for a directory called source and app.js it will compile it to this directory this is not what I want I want to compile it to assets directory which goes to this, to this folder also for the SAS it should go to assets directly here and you can set the the public path also to assets which is this folder for now and you will see how it is going to work the way Laravel mix is working it will take an endpoint and it will give you an output for that so what is the the in, input for this one it is the source slash app.js we do not have that folder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called src and inside this folder we can create some more folders so for the JS, I'll create another folder called JS. Oops, this is a file. It should be a folder. I'll delete this one. In the source directory, I'll create a folder called JS. And we will create another folder called SCSS, which is store all the SCSS on. And inside this one, I'll create app.js. And for the CSS, I'll call app.scss, which is the way you can structure your code. You can do it differently, but if I come to the webpack, the configuration here, it will go to the source directory. This one should go to the JS folder, and for the S CSS, it should go to S CSS folder. So that should be for SAS, and it should work out of the box. For now, if I save it, that's all the configuration you need. And this command that copies file from this folder it will do the same thing it will just copy the configuration from here it is the same thing and next up what you can do is 
you can scroll down you can add the script to your package.json i will come to the package.json and for now as you can see the script is test and empty you can test this script just finishing the json closing here and this is your script if i save it for now all i have to do is just wait for the laravel mix to install and i'm ready to go so laravel mix is installed now and i also put the script here let's try one of the script if i come here and say uh, npm run dev which is re referring to the dev come in here let's run it and you might get any error so let's expect any error if we have so this is going to check for the directory which we already created we already have the files and it should compile this file which are the jo javascript here and the sas file to the directory we want what they are going to say is you don't have a view compiler you have to install it so let's see how this is going to install those stuff because we need the view compiler and these are the dependencies we need but it is not required for now but it is going to install them if you are going to do it so i will install them too i come here you can copy this come in here and pressing enter and it is uh, automatically installing for you if you let it this one is done and this is going to install some other dependency like sas loader if you wanna like load sas files and also if those sas files have a url these are the things that it is going to install and it will take a few minutes and i'll pause the video so here we go everything is up and running i will run the command again as they have instructed so i will run the npm run dev again this time let's see if this can successfully compile our file and create a file for us for now assets directory is empty so let's see how it is going So here we go, it is successfully compiled all our files here. If you check out the assets directory here, you have a git keep which was already here. app.css and app.js is your file here and all of them are empty here. Except for the js one, you have some file. This is empty, why is that so? It is because when you are writing a vanilla JavaScript, it is going to compile it down for you, even if it is empty. If you write an alert here, it's going to generate a lot of file for you. You know, if you can compile vanilla JavaScript, like if you are compiling a uh, ES6 code, it is going to create this file. But if you are going to run it for production, this code will not be here. So what is the command for production? It is the prod, and the production will zip your file, zip your CSS, and it will remove all the comments, all your, all the spacing, and it will create a compact uh, css and jo J javascript file for you as you can see everything works fine now now if i am developing my team all i have to do is i have to run two commands first command is team watch team watch will look for any changes in the directories except the source folder which is we created and it will upload them to the server even if we have a file called css and the other command that is running here is you can use another terminal here and this command is going to be uh, check it out package.json and you have a watch command watch command is doing the same thing but watch command will look in the source directory and it will see any changes in the js and css and scss it will compile it to assets directory it is so fast you might not notice like if i run it here npm run watch Check it out how fast it is going to watch for all the changes in this directory and it will compile it down for you. For example, if I come to the app.scss, I will copy, I will say body and the bg color should be red. And let's see, the first time it is a little slow because it is compiling down all those files. I haven't saved it yet. So this should be the first time, but now if I save it, since this is watching and it will instantly uh, compile down. That file for me and those changes should be in my CSS here. Now I don't have to worry about any SCSS uh, syntax. Like if I'm writing any SCSS syntax uh, that Shopify does not support, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about writing ES6 code. I don't have to worry about if uh, Vue.js is working or not. Also, you don't have to worry about anything like, as I said, like Shopify 
uh, compiler for SCSS will cache your file you don't have to worry about those stuff because you have CSS file you, you just offload them and it is going to be super super fast in production because this will be complete though Shopify does the same thing but it is a lot more optimized and you can write ESX code we will use Vue.js and this is our uh, final uh, base theme for creating a Shopify theme I will upload the code in GitHub and in the next video you will learn how you can clone it and how you can use it for your own. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.